Hey everyone, Mango 7 Roll here. How are we doing today? It is goldsmithing time. Uh, we are working our way down the list here. We've done carpenter, blacksmith, armor, and now we're on to goldsmithing, which I believe is probably the hardest one to do. I really wasn't a fan of leveling it, and I think I grinded so much and used so many leave quests that it was by far my most efficient one. Um, and we'll go through why later, but I want to start off with the gear and uh, the troubles people have been having with my guides. So I want to cover that base so people don't have that problem with this guide. Uh, so the first problem people run into is gear. They say, well, you had ironworks. You can't, you can't say this is how you're supposed to do it if you had ironworks and I can't afford ironworks. And I, I'll give you a solution to that. So 60 to 61 is by far the hardest part of every single craft I found. Um, so you're not going to have good gear at 60 unless you already had ironworks or the script gear. If you have ironworks or the script gear, you'll have zero problem whatsoever. So what I recommend for the people who don't and don't want to spend the money is just to spam Copernical Nugget. Do absolutely nothing but Copernical Nugget all the way from 60 to 61. And you want to get uh, Squadron Engineering Manuals as well. If you have them, um, they really help out. They're harder to get at 60 because you need scripts to get them and you kind of need the 61 gear to get them, but uh, at least try to get them if you can. So once you hit 61, after you've crafted 100, 200 of those, however many it takes, um, also, it's okay not to high quality them. Uh, you want to high quality a little bit of them, maybe like 10 to 15%. But in general, you're okay with like a 10 to 15% HQ rate and uh, and queuing the rest. There's just uh, no really real need for them, especially since they're going to be used for a collect or for a leave item later. So let's go here. And once you're at 61, you want to go to one of the vendors. Uh, right here is Fantastic and Ragar's Reach. And just go to Tradecraft Gear, and they have all your no-quality equipment here. They've got your 61 hat, they've got your uh, 61 this, 61 everything, um, outside of the apron, I think, because that doesn't go to 62. And then when you hit 62 or 63, you get a new main hand and a new off hand, all from these vendors here. I believe you get one from the quest, too, so you might want to do that as well. Uh, the alternative option is to buy HQ versions on the boards, but if you can't afford Ironworks, you probably can't afford that. Uh, so this vendor gear will do you just fine. And once you get that gear, you can finally start doing your own sort of thing. So now that we've got that out of the way, um, problem number two people are having. So let's go to the spreadsheet here. Uh, this, this is in the description below. Um, a lot of people are having problems making co making a coffee. coffee. Making a coffee? I really need a coffee right now. A lot of people are having troubles making a copy of this. So what you want to do is go to File, Make a Copy, and that's it. But the problem is this doesn't always show for people. Um, and that's because if you look at your URL up here, it'll say HTML view at the end. Uh, and this is caused by too many people accessing it at once. Uh, as you can see, there's something like 100 on at once. and That's all it really lets on. Um, so anybody over that 100 gets kind of screwed and doesn't have these options. So the way to fix that is go back to home here find the shareable link and copy and paste that into another window and keep trying until you get it. Unfortunately, that's literally the only solution I have. There's no real way to fix that uh, to my knowledge. Okay, we've got all the, the main problems out of the way. Let's go into the actual guide here. Um, the top one, as always in my spreadsheet, is the most efficient in terms of leave usage, but I would not recommend it whatsoever. I just have it there so people know which are the triple turn-ins. And then there is the easy version, which is what I recommend. Uh, 60 to 62 is questionable. Depending on your prices, it might be better than Capratical Ingot even. Uh, but in essence, it's there just to go from 60 to 62 if you don't want to grind or anything like that. But Capratical Ingot all the way to 60, or all the way to 70 is what I recommend. Um, this will use about 48, no, a little more than 48, probably about 50 to 52 leaves. Uh, to get you from 60 to 70, and it's just a fantastic way to do it, and it's the only real good way to do it. Um, you also might want to start at 64 instead to save some leaves and literally grind Copernical Nuggets all the way to 64. Yes, the exact same recipe all the way to 64, and I really recommend going to this vendor over here. We'll take a little walk. So you have, if you have any red scripts whatsoever, you can go to this vendor here and you can buy these commercial engineering manuals. They add 300k XP over a bunch of crafts and just spam those while you're grinding. It basically doubles your XP intake. 
so yeah, um, we went over the leaves there. Unfortunately, not much to go over outside of spam Copernical ingot. There's really not much to it to that. And let's get to why goldsmithing sucks, and that is the collectibles. They all take extremely rare gems. They're on a um, Eorzean Day timer, so twice an Eorzean Day. They're all on unspoiled nodes. It just sucks. They're, they're no good, and they all take six of them or something ridiculous like that. And the ones that, that uh, aren't the main pieces of accessories take so much, they're just a joke. Uh, so that is really the worst part about goldsmithing. So let's take a look here. I have dual-plated Copranical Planisphere. And if you look at the amount of materials for one collectible, you can see it's just hilarious. Like, there's no chance anybody should ever be doing this. Like, four ingots, a nugget, three trophanes, which are unspoiled nodes, by the way. So you need uh, nine uh, things from an unspoiled node. And enchanted Copranical ink. So just, this isn't happening. Collectibles are not happening for goldsmithing. They don't get any better when you go up as well. So what you want to do if you don't want to use any leaves is just grind the crap out of everything. I can't stress enough how important grinding is. Sit there watching TV. Have a one-button macro because it's easier to pay attention to something else while you're doing it. And just hit that one button for freaking six hours straight and get your grinding done. That's what crafting is, unfortunately, uh, when you don't have your leaves. So some options for that are nuggets. I can't stress nuggets enough. Get a miner, go grind thousands of the sand, and just bring your goldsmithing to 70. It'll take a day, but it'll be worth it. We have slate here, which is also a good option because you will use a bunch of those. Uh, Copranical ingots, not as good because they take the nuggets and you really want to be using those for your leaves if you have them. Uh, durium nugget, another one I used a ton of. You can also fill out your uh, crafting log if you want, but they take so many materials, you're just not going to have the materials for it. Uh, durium ingot, same thing, uh, they take the nuggets, so not the best grinding. And I know I'm just going down the list and picking out the nuggets and ingots, but that's what you got to do. And if I don't show you, I'll get, uh, I'll get asked which one, so I'm showing you. Uh, we have Palladium Nugget, another fantastic one to use. Quite a bit of those at 70, actually. Um, I think a lot of them are used in 70 collectibles for yellow scripts as well, so this is one you might want to stock up on. Imperial Jade is huge as well. I've probably used a thousand Imperial Jades, and um, I'm still using a ton of them. They're used for all the 70 accessories, uh, two to three per accessory, so fantastic thing to do they are expensive to make but you will make your money you should make your gill back from them so there's those to think about too when you hit about 68 and you don't need to hq them either so don't worry about that again because uh as you can see they're used here three in each armalay two in each ring uh two in each jade and you can see you use nuggets as well here and two in each necklace so these are a fantastic way to make gill right now as well so keep that in mind and uh yeah so yeah, there we go. The video kind of feels like a cop-out, but it is what it is, and this is how you level it. There's no real other way to say it. You can't do collectibles, so you've just got to grind, or you use your leaves. That's it. There's no other choice. There's no dailies. There's no anything. Just those two choices, and that's it. Um, hi, who are you? Anyway, we have the most important parts of this video. I'll try to summarize. Grind the crap out of Copernical Nuggets and Ingots. That's it. Period. Do those forever, and you'll get to 70. Um... At 61, you can buy vendor, vendor gear. At 63, you can buy vendor gear, I think. At 65, you can buy vendor gear. Um, all your levels, all you need is vendor gear. Don't say somebody has ironworks and you don't and you can't do it. Um, the vendor gear works just fine, so keep that in mind. Uh, don't do collectibles. And what else did we have? And that's about it. Literally just grind, 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 grind. Use your manuals and grind. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I know this wasn't the best video, but... I don't know how else to say grind uh, Copernical Nuggets 10 times over. So yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day. See you next time.